Good day, or hola, boys and girls. This is the Beer Baron, and welcome to Cayo Santa Maria, Cuba. Don't usually make videos reviewing beer, but with the absence of the content on YouTube, I felt like I just had to make this video. For those of you that have been to an all-inclusive resort in the Caribbean, you'll know that the beer selection is pretty much non-existent. The selection diminishes severely when we're talking about Cuba, where typically the choice is between Cristal and Bucanero. And if you're like me, Bucanero is not what you want to be drinking on a week's vacation, even if it is free. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not decent either. Harsh is probably the word that I could best use to describe Bucanero. I had done some research prior to choosing my resort, but there was very little content available. Mostly spotty information from travelers in tra travelers reviews in TripAdvisor with the search term of beer or Cristal yielded the most results, which were again, very little. My best information actually came from the beer app Untapped, which identified the resort that I'm staying at, which is the Playa Cayo Santa Maria as having a beer garden. Well, to say the least, I was skeptical, but the reviewer's picks actually showed a bar with a fridge packed full of two to three different beers. During my stay, the beer garden had these following beers. So on tap is Cristal, and then in the beer fridge itself, We have Coprove. And we have Cristal Extra. What was even more surprising is that further to this selection here at the beer garden, actually got at the gift shop is just over here in the cans they've got Estrella Galicia Especial Claro Hollandia and Bucanero Max. Not going to get into reviewing each beer as that's not my channel's platform or content. If you want to see reviews, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, friend me Subliminal64, that's Subliminal and the number 64 on Untapped. I will only say that Cristal is still my favorite cerveza and the only competition is Presidente from the Dominican Republic. That again is just in my humble opinion. I have vacationed three times so far in Cuba, twice in Mexico, and once in the Dominican Republic, and never had more than a single beer choice with the included all-inclusive alcohol. To have three choices of beer included was just amazing. So my wife and I decided to venture next door to the Starfish Resort, which is the next resort immediately east of the Playa Cayo Santa Maria Resort. And they actually had this David Hirsch beer. Now don't get super excited. It's a fancy name, but I don't know if you can see it there. Made in China. So don't have super, super high hopes for a beer that says premium quality beer, exact the first wart. Um, yeah, so take from that what you will. Again, I'm not going to review the beers on this channel. Uh, you can hit me up on Beer Advocate or uh, Untapped for that. Now, I will say that they had this David Hirsch beer at Starfish. They also had Claro, Buccanero Max, and I believe they had one more in there. Then It's escaping me right now. but uh, not near the selection that 
the Playa Cayo Santa Maria had. So if you're looking for a resort that's got a great beer selection, I would highly suggest the Playa Cayo Santa Maria. I am not sponsored by them. I don't think I mentioned that before. It just happened to be the resort that my wife and I decided to stay at. Hey guys and girls, so I'm just going to jump in here. So there was also Cremado that was available. It's like a Clamato Mott's equivalent. It does not have alcohol in it. Be careful. I also picked up Iron Beer and I brought this back all the way to Canada. And as you can see, it says Iron Beer and in small letters it says Refresco. So it's actually a pop or a soda. And uh, I didn't realize this. It's almost like um, like a really syrupy Coke meets Dr. Pepper. That's the best way I can describe it. Kind of low carbonation, um, not the greatest. But we did see some other beers at the airport. There was a Power Malt, which was actually a malt beverage from Africa. I wasn't able to pick that one up. It was in one of the duty-free shops and it was lined up literally outside of the uh, duty-free shop. It would take him like a good 45 minutes just to get it. it. said Power Malt, so I wasn't too interested. They also had Claro. They had Hollandia. And they also had this one here, which I'm gonna pour right now. And again, we're not a review channel, but I just wanted to give people information because there literally is no information about what beers are out there. Probably repeating myself, but as you can see here, this is the Burgmeester Special. And it's actually a product of Spain. So got some high hopes for that one. Spanish beers are uh, tend to be quite good and uh, translated to the Mexican beers when they settled that area and the Mexican beers, uh, a lot of those are quite good too. So again, I just, I'm not a review channel. I just wanted to show some information on what is out there because I was concerned that it was just gonna be Cristel or Bucanero and that was not the case. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are like me and not only love trying new beers and beers that you can't buy back home, check out Playa Teo Santa Maria. The beer garden is waiting for you. Hopefully you found this video informative. Like and subscribe for information on house, yard, property maintenance, car maintenance, or general DIY information. With a little bit of information and encouragement, you'd be surprised what you're capable of because remember you never know unless you bear we'll see you on the next video